All right, so when I first open Blender, I'm going to get this screen right here. I'm going to want to click on this video editing button right here. All right, so this thing right here, that's called the playhead. It's very useful. So this is a preview vi window right here. So if I'm if I have a strip of video right here, wherever I, wherever I am in the video, it's going to appear up here. Over here, we have the file browser. Over here, we have settings. So I'm just going to move the playhead all the way back here, and I'm going to add my intro image. So I'm going to go through the file browser, find my pictures folder, which is right here, scroll down to find my image, which is right here. I'm going to drag and drop it into here. So wherever the playhead is, is where the media is going to appear when you drag and drop it in. Alright, so I have my media. Oh, and I almost forgot. We need to adjust settings. Alright, so over here, we have the resolution, which you might need to change if you're recording in portrait mode, like if you're on a phone and that's where your video is from. We have aspect ratio, which you don't really need to mess with. We have the frame, start, end, and step settings. The frame rate, which we're going to probably want to change something even like 30. That makes like changing the endings and lengths of clips and media far, far easier because it's easy to do math with even numbers like 30. All right, so we're gonna scroll down to um, this part right here, like the output tab. We wanna change this to FFmpeg video because otherwise we would just be making like an image, which is not what we want. We wanna be doing a video. Over here, we're gonna click right here on the little file browser icon thingy and we're going to change where our file is stored and the name of our file. So I'm just going to name my file High Pixel Compilation. Then I'm going to press the Accept button, and then there we go. So it's going to save as High Pixel Compilation once we're done rendering the video. We're going to scroll down a little bit to encoding. We're going to click on this little three dots and three dashes thingy, my bobber. We're going to click H.264 and MP4. That's just the way it's going to be encoded. We can change the quality settings down here, and for audio, our audio codec, since we do want audio, we're going to click MP3, and that'll allow us to have audio. Over here, we don't really need to mess with that, but yeah. Alright, so all the way back up here. We're going to mess with the frame end in a couple seconds, once we're done making our little video. Alright, time to add actual video. So I've previously recorded some clips of me playing on Hypixel, so you can use that. So I'm just going to click on my high pixel clips, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to drag and drop it over here. Sweet. I have it. I'm going to add it. I'm just going to drag, put it like right up against that. So you, over here you can see the where it says 25. That's the frame end of our intro. And then we have the frame start of the clips. All right. So I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to resize the length of this. So I probably want my intro picture to last for maybe two and a half seconds, maybe two and three quarters, I don't know. But I'm going to resize it to 75 frames. And I kind of want it to fade in and out because that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to right click on it, my little strip, which I've selected, and then go down to fade, and then click fade in and out. So now it'll fade in and out. I can, little, I can see what that looks like by pressing the play button down at the bottom center. You can see that it fades in and out. All right, cool. All right, so now I'm going to scroll out a little bit using the scroll wheel. And, hmm, look at that. I don't really want that. I don't want the cooldown. So, like, the little timer up there when it says I'm going to play, like, prepare to fight. I don't want that. I'm just going to skip by that. So, I'm just going to select where I want it to stop, like, with the playhead. And then I'm going to select the two strips which I want to cut. And then I'm going to press the K button on my keyboard. And that'll just chop it in half. And then I can just delete it, delete the selected strips with the delete button on my keyboard as well. Delete. Done. We've gotten rid of that. Now I can just scooch this back over. And then we're done. Alright. So. Done adding. Done with that part. Actually, you know what? I want this to fade in too. So I'm going to do fade in and out. Alright. So let's go to the end of my video. I'm just going to use the scroll with the scroll out. And I'm going to add, like, my little outro image. I don't know, whatever. So I'm going to go right here. I go over here to the file browser. I have a little image, which I've made already. I drag and drop it there. Zoom back in over here. Zooming in. 
Alright. And then I'm just gonna scooch this over here. Also, I'm gonna resize this so it's just the same size as our little video clip. By the way, I forgot to mention this right here, that's this is the audio strip right here, and up here is the video strip. They're not two different videos, it's just audio and video, which you can edit separately. So I'm gonna re make my little outro thingy last longer. Scooch it in so there's not a black space in between. So now, if I press the play button, oop, that's right. So now, it'll go to that once I'm done. So it's going to fade out and then go to this. Awesome. Actually, I want this to fade in and out too, so click on that. All right, now we're mostly done. All we have to do is find the end frame, which this is on. So I'm going to select this little strip here, which is my image, and then I'm going to go to time. And then I'm going to see where it ended. So I might need to like, uh, resize this window pane right here a little bit using that. So I can actually see where it ends. So it ends at 65,481. So I'm going to go back up here to the frame end and then do 65,481. And then press enter. And that's where it's going to be done. So I'm going to scroll back out now. I don't really need to, but I'd like to. And... Our video is done. All we need to do now is go up here to the render tab, the bottom, sorry, top left, click on render, and then render animation. And that will start rendering our video, and it'll show up wherever you saved it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment and like if you'd like to see more. Bye.